Okay, so as you all know, I switched my phone from the iPhone 13 Pro Max to the brand spanking new Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 and now I regret it. Stay tuned to find out why and if you liked the video please smash that like button and also subscribe. Okay, so I was playing game Candy Rush on my unfolded screen here the other day and then I was finished playing. I had no more life on Candy Crush so I had the I folded the device just like any other time and then I put it in my pocket and now I thought it was all good but then some hours later I was I was playing with my device folded this time and then I decided to fold unfold it again and there I saw it a big big crack in the hinge functionality on some way I don't know how it happened but it happened so and it was on the screen itself the inner screen you know it's where the hinge mechanism so it was right here and since I only had used the device for like four months or so since October that's maybe three months but who cares it's meant to be better device than that so I decided to complain to the store where I bought the device sent an email and everything and then the next day I got a response from them stating I could send it in to them so they could check it out and see if I, see if I could get a new device or that they could fix it or somehow in some weird way so return on warrant so <laughs> I went to my local uh, dealership and got this bad boy right here. It's the Motorola Moto E20. And so far, it has worked flawlessly. I charged it up yesterday, and now I have like 72% left on the battery. So the battery life is much, much better on this boring gray device right here but I only needed a phone I all needed a smartphone because of uh, Microsoft Authenticator and my bank and everything is in this device right here but I was considering the Nokia 3310 but then it wouldn't have been so much easy to use the phone so I have all of these things in the smartphone so and although it is a budget phone it does the job perfectly i can call i can read emails and everything so and you know what it only costed me like 70 bucks what it's, it was so cheap and the moto e20 is a budget phone that should be sufficient for basic tasks Although it does not have the same performance or high-end usability like the Galaxy Z Fold 4. So what can we learn here in this short movie, in this short YouTube content? Well firstly it is important to read the warranty and return policies for any electronic device before purchasing and since I'm living in Norway we have excellent uh, we have excellent warranty for for me as a personal user so you all so that you know what you can expect if you suffer a problem or anything like that okay so and as for this bad boy right there I'm gonna use it until I'm getting my Galaxy Z Fold 4 in return if not I'm just gonna buy the 
iPhone 14 Pro Max or something like that. You know, a phone should work. I don't think it's done that. So, if you liked the video and you're still hanging with me here, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.